weed will stay in the system of a skinny person for up to seven days. After that, small amounts of weed metabolites will remain in the system longer. But after seven days, it will not be detectable in the urine. This is true for occasional smokers. Heavy smokers will require more time. Let's calculate how long it will take to remove weed completely from a skinny person's body. There's no way to calculate the amount of THC precisely. Everybody's different, and too many factors influence THC metabolism. So, we'll make some assumptions. Let's say we're calculating for the following person. Jennifer is a skinny girl and an occasional smoker. Jennifer smoked one gram of marijuana with 20% of THC content. That means there was 200 milligrams of THC in a joint. According to the study that will help our calculations, if there's 27 milligrams of THC in a joint, the amount of THC in a smoker's urine would be 180 nanograms per milliliter after four hours. Using cross multiplication, we have that after smoking 200 milligrams of THC, the concentration of THC in the urine of Jennifer would be 1,330 nanograms per milliliter. The half-life of THC for the infrequent user is 26 hours. So, after 26 hours, the concentration would drop to 665 nanograms per milliliter. After 52 hours, it would be 332 nanograms per milliliter. After 130 hours, the concentration will drop below 50 nanograms per milliliter, the cutoff level of a urine immunoassay drug test. It will take two more days for the THC concentration to drop below 20 nanograms per milliliter, the cutoff level of the gas chromatography urine drug test. So, it would take about seven days for a skinny person to lower the concentration of weed metabolites in the urine below the detectable level.